We're in Design Junction and we're in MySpace that was sponsored by Della Spada and I'm showing some new and old work. I'm an industrial designer by training and my work is very much industrial design so all that means is that it is for production. It's not really limited edition, it's not really one-off. Working with a partner is really no different to how I would work anyway because it's about producing things in batch. One of our main launches for Design Junction this year is the tender lamp and tender means tent in Italian. And basically it was a study in the studio where we were looking at really lightweight fiberglass rods and to do something that is 2D, flat pack, but that could have huge three-dimensionality to it. And alongside this we do a lot of materials research, a lot of textile research, and we were looking at lightweight stretch fabrics. And we looked at the fashion industry a lot, so this is a textile that's used in the under, underwear industry for linings of bras and that kind of thing. And it has a huge amount of 4D stretch. So the combination between these sort of flat, readily available fiberglass rods and this construction of textile means that we can do something with a very distinctive design language and it's inherently connected to the way it's made. So we have the lamps that are around us um, showing the kind of fiberglass rods through them and the, the textile is shaped by the, by the rods and it's a very natural process of concave and convex curves. Our ethos is materials-driven, process-led industrial design. And it just means that we start our process through a research into materials and construction. So do we find some new material, an, an interesting new innovation in materials? Or is it a, an old material that's never been used in a certain application or context? Or do we look at performance? Do we say that this construction can give us certain strength or lightness or sustainability? And then that forms the starting point and then we find the application and format for that research. This is the coracle chair for Della Espada and we started a project last year looking at Portuguese materials and production techniques. They do various things very well, timber, stone and leather. So this was a look at a manipulation of leather work and we selected a leather that's used in the automotive industry, this kind of perforated pressed leather and we wanted to find a construction that we could cover the whole of a framework in. So it's really this kind of woven wrapping construction so it goes all the, way, all the way around the framework and down the legs and then you know, sort of unravels and becomes the kind of woven seat and we have things like cushions on magnetic fixings as well and um, all sort of this sort of loungy outdoor kind of conservatory type chair. The studio is really interested in, in fashion, not for its trend based or colour based reasons, um, but in terms of construction, we look at fabrics a lot now, whether it's a piece of lighting or whether it's a piece of furniture and something we did with Capellini uh, this year was to do a single sheet that was very gently and softly folded to create the upholstery rather than stitched out of many pieces. And so you get this, it's not really origami, it's a more kind of a garment type soft folding in the way that the clothes might sit on a human body, they sit on the, the, the upholstery and the, and the shape of the chair. So we get these again, we get this kind of softness to the upholstery and it's, and it's a very purposeful um, language we wanted to use. So Maritime is a chair we did with Casamania and it's something that was very popular in Milan um, a year and a half ago. And really it was this idea of creating a very thin framework inspired by the sort of boat building industry and then lay layering in the, the plywood shells. And so the language you get on the chair is that it really wears its construction on its sleeves. And this is the way we work. So we like to show the construction and the materiality and the process as the design language rather than starting with a form-based study. I think sustainability is an important issue for any designer. I don't think it's a separate subcategory. I just think if you're an industrial designer, it's just one of the elements that you are, you're looking, you are looking at if you want to be a good designer or whatever that means. I think sustainability can mean lots of different things. Does, is a product timeless? So if it's overtly stylized, then it's of, of a trend and, and will be around for one or two years. So that's a particularly unsustainable way to design. Um, and is it well made? And I think these two things are very important. And sometimes the material research we do leads us to a process where we can use less to create more. Make something stronger with less materials or find a material that is recycled, for example, from reused PET bottles like one of our chairs is. And, and so this is how we work with sustainability. But it's not really a separate issue for us. It's very much integrated. This is Cargo and it's for Della Spada. And it's a very simple chair comprised of a wooden space frame and automotive leather. And we wanted to do something where we used a frame without any supporting structure, any cross braces, 
and actually use the leather not only to make it comfortable, but to really brace and strengthen the structure. So it really is this, this passion for materials and technology and, and the process of making things. Um, okay, I love things to be comfortable, I love things to be accessible enough to buy and all those kind of things, but really what drives me is this kind of working with people who make things. I mean, I'm not a traditional maker, but um, I love craft, I love how things are industrialised and whether it's injection moulded or stamped, so it's really the passion comes from the factories and workshops.